Alright guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Beholder 2. Let's go ahead and just like jump right into it. I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading as much as I would like to. Like, January hit and I just lost all motivation. It's like a, a seasonal thing, I don't know, it's just the weather has been crummy here, it's been snowy, I don't like it, it's cold, it makes me just not motivated, it makes me want to curl up in bed and just stay there. Anyways, I am a little ill today. <laughs> no, I do not have the COVID. My daughter came back with something from daycare and um, it's just like a head cold kind of thing, but I still like my voice is a little raspy. I'm going to be talking in a lower tone and I might cough. I'm going to try to edit out all the coughing, but I'm going to try. Oh, like I went, to, I was doing laundry all week this week because I'm off on vacation, which is great i wanted to get ahead of like house chores and recording and then i just have it i just want to talk to this little girl can we be best friends or are you just going to tell me the same thing ask why she's not going home talk about talking with strangers okay so it's the same thing that we talked to her about before but i really wanted to get ahead of recording now i'm just like recording for the next day so i'm recording this the day before you guys see it so yay um, but yeah, like, I started coughing yesterday, I felt it, I did laundry, going up and down, like, the stairs for the laundry just put me out of breath, which never happens, like, I was just, like, I don't know, I'm just feeling crummy, um, but other than that, I just feel a lot of drainage in the back of my throat. I know, this is things that you guys really definitely want to hear about, I'm sure, <laughs> but it's just what I'm going through right now. Uh, what was that? Can I check this potted plant, please? I'm just, I'm, I'm convinced secrets are in all the plants. I was going to play some new games this week and like, it just never happened. Obviously I didn't do a video on Monday, but I'm actually shocked I kept up with Thursday through Friday. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. We have some definite quests to get done today. Use the fact that Dong is taking pills. For what? How? And an undercover. I thought I already did the undercover thing. Play with Dong's feelings, fear and weaknesses. And then get the biometrics safe. Alright, let's go ahead and work. Because I almost ran out of time last time to work. And I almost ran out of money. So, like, look at my gold. 80. So we're going to go ahead and check our email. Out of vouchers. Okay, um... That's fine. And then let's go ahead and do our email. I'm not going to let you get... I'm not going to make you guys go through all this. So I'm going to do one, and then I'll do the rest of my own. Um, I'm feeling pretty sure someone's been following me. I don't even feel safe at home. Recently, I came home from work, and someone has gone through all my stuff. The burglar was so good, he managed to get in without anyone noticing. Even the building manager didn't see something. Do something. So this is a complaint, and it's for order. And it's Thursday, so we'll send her 101. Oh, nope, we can't. Uh, it's Thursday. Oh, okay. All right, you hit the only room we have. Yes, I'm a winner. All right, guys, I'm going to continue. All right, guys, we've made some money. We've made some authority. Let's get back to it. So we need to play with his fear and his weaknesses. We already did passion. Uh, we've already talked to this guy, and he's just not, you know, someone we want to talk to. And then my cat right now is, like, sitting right in front of me. <laughs> Oh, and she's gone. She heard me talk. Oh, nope, now she's laying down on my keyboard. This is so much fun. What was I doing? Oh, I was going to go and uh, talk to Serena. Because I haven't talked to her in a while. Maybe she knows something about Dong. Ask what pills. Ask um, where you can get buy useful items. General chat. What kind of pills? Oh, the weakness. Okay. Serena, you've been working for the ministry for quite a while. Can you help me? I don't sell alcohol. You need a license for that. No, not that. But maybe you might have a headache pills on you. No, pies don't cause headaches. I've only got laxatives. Need them? I think that'll do. Well, that'll certainly make you forget about your headaches. Pasta pies are all the rage right now. Come and get them. Pasta pie sounds delicious. Okay, so now we have pills for Dong. Let me knock on your door. I got some pills for you. Or laxatives. 
What do you want? Give him the cure for cowardice. What did you bring me? Nothing so far. Oh, give him pills. Peter, I found a great remedy for you. What does it do? Tell him they're headache pills. Take two. You'll forget about all about your headache. They look kind of funny. Where'd you get them? Does it matter? Things can't get any worse. Famous last words. Oh no. Oh no. He's just gonna like... Okay, I thought he was just gonna... You know, like, throw him back. Like, bottle and all. Oh no. Oh. Poor Peter. I feel like a jerk. <laughs> this is part of the quest, though. Um, hey, Peter, buddy. Oh, oh, he's he's not happy. Okay, let's. Hey, um, how? Ask how he's feeling. Where'd you run off to? The toilet. That's where. Easy, Peter. Breathe. Ugh. My head doesn't hurt any um, more after what happened. Something else does, though. The shame. Evan, did you have anything to do with it? Of course not. I'm not sure I believe you. I'm your friend. I'm going to give you the cure of cowardice. Just you wait, sir. Just you wait. Oh, collect information about Ferguson. I missed that one altogether. Where is... Where is the one guy? Land something? I don't know. Um, okay, and so I need I need one more fear. I need a sphere. I need a sphere. Um, hey Peter, tell me about your fears. Who who tells me about your fears? Um do you know you you gave me pills. General chat. Talk about colleagues. Uh Peter Dog. Do you know Peter? Fella in glasses like cabbage pies, but always says his mom makes them better. Anything else? He once bought a raisin roll, but instead of raisins inside, there was a bits of cockroach. These things happen. The poor fellow got so sick that the guards came running and thought it was a terrorist attack. Turns out he's been afraid of insects since childhood. What a prima donna. I've heard that insects are a delicacy in South Bora. Do you want a bun? No thanks. That's exactly what I needed, his fear. Serena, you have all the good information. So we need to find some bugs. Didn't the gardener say something about bugs at one point? Am I making that up? Didn't he say that we need to put, like, there was bugs and plants and we need to put pesticides in them? Does that sound familiar, guys? Or am I just completely, like, thinking of a different game, I guess? I don't know. Where's the gardener? Was he over here? Landscaper. Hey, hey, you're getting in the way of me and my landscaper. What do you do with the bugs you gather up? Put them in bags, burn the nasty ones, feed the rest of the birds. Ask for bugs. Can I get some bugs from you? Are you nuts? No, I mean it. I like feeding birds too. Well, yeah, birds are pretty, but aren't you doing, um, but I ain't doing your work for you. Here's a bag. Go and get some yourself. Okay, can I get some from this potted plant? <laughs> I can. Just getting some bugs. All right, guys, I'm making progress today. I didn't think I was gonna get done with this entire, uh, this entire uh, quest strand, but here we are. I still need to get the biometric safe and I need to collect information on Ferguson. But my, oh yeah, that was my undercover. I was like, but my undercover's gone. No, it's not, it's right there. I think it was just too far down because I had a lot of quests. Um, Let's break into his office. I'm going to try to put the bugs in his desk. I'm also going to read his email. Because why not? Emails. Okay, so it looks like nothing new. Do he has new pictures? No. New folders? Um, not really. All right, that was... Oops, wrong button. That was no fun. That was a waste of 15 minutes. Bugs. Oh, this won't be enough to scare... Dong. Damn it. Damn it all to hell. Okay, let's try. Okay, let's pretend we were never here. La 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 la. Um, if... A third of, I'm sure that if he freaked out over a little bit of cockroach 
and his bun that a third of a bag would have been plenty but whatever i'm gonna go and i think there's three pots in that whole area i wish i read that before but i didn't so we're gonna try to do that and then um honestly we probably are gonna have all of our time spent because i spent a little extra time getting some money okay so we got one from there and then there's one right here and i think there's one just before hello sir can you please not what why why Okay, <laughs> there's another potted plant. I was like, why is this a thing? It wasn't a thing before, why am I hitting you? Rude. Now, are you standing next to me now? Buddy, buddy, we're not friends, okay? Oh, I thought that was for me. I was like, oh, I need to click on him. He has some information. No, he's just talking about mail. Guys, I think this is going to be a short episode. I'm going to do the apartment stuff and then I'm probably going to call it because my voice is killing me. I um, just really wanted to put a video out for Friday. I'm going to try to record some more for next week too on the weekend and hopefully I just feel better then. It's Thursday now so the outlook is high. All right let's break back into his office. And let's Let's put these buggy roos in his desk. One bag of insects. All right. All right, Peter, it's your turn. Oh God, that would be terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> poor Peter. <laughs> I've been just standing there like a jerk watching this happen. Oh, now he's crying. Let's help him get the bugs off. <laughs> hey, Peter. What do you want? Um, talk about insects. What's the deal with insects? They're harmless. You wouldn't say that if you found them in a sleeping bag with bed bugs and summer camp for children with engineer employees. Bed bugs are a fixture of Class J apartments, actually. And do you fight them with spiders in your J class apartments? No, with repellent. With repellent? Never had those in summer camps. They were considered and extravagance. Some professor even wrote an entire article on the uh, consequences of using repellent. Like, there hadn't been enough studies to show how they affect future generations' health and their chemical compo um, composition is, like, harmful to the environment. Sounds like an excuse for supply shortages. An excuse that meant that made us catch hobo spiders in the forest, stick them in our sleeping bags, and wait for them to deal with the bed bugs. That's horrible. You can say that again. I've hated insects all ever since. Oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> Don't worry, Peter. I'm going to help you with the whole um, cowardice thing here in just a jiff. I have a beetles in his desk. You must have heard him screaming. His cries are sweet melody and to these ears. Poor Peter's afraid of a couple of ordinary bugs. Good job, Redgrave. Dong drank coffee laced with laxative. Next time I'll hang out, uh, hang an out-of-service sign on the toilet door. Emma, you're interrupting this conversation. I love these little jabs. Jap? Japs? They really let people see, um, let people see how, to, um, wow. Let us see how people open up and let loose. Whew. Open up, let loose, get it? Now I call him Peter the excreter. I sent a love letter to Hazer, um, from Dong's terminal. Oh yeah, that was cool. Peter was so red I thought he was going to catch fire and I nearly died laughing. Hey, you're not so bad. But I'm still better. Come by tomorrow. I'll tell you how to play some pranks on Peter. I need that safe, Marco. Always keeps his word. Here you go. You've earned it. Have a nice day. And you. Oh my god. Okay. Um, find something that will make Dog more communicative. Help him overcome his fear of talking. Competitive environment. Peter Dong. Okay. All right. All right. We have a lot of tasks, guys. Jesus. Report to Ferguson. Oh, yeah, I need to report to Ferguson on that one thing. I'm going to look at my biometric safe real quick. Where is that? It's your inventory. 
Here, it's here. Oh, oh, I broke it. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, open. This page can change anyone. Climbing up from the very bottom is just the first step towards making a difference. But I lost myself along the way. Not completely, but most or some important fundamental part of me slipped away like sand through my fingers. My humility, perhaps? Looking back, I often wonder about the ambitious young man I used to be. The man who came to work at the ministry with a desire to help people. Would he launch Hemdal? Or would he be horrif horrified at the mere thought of doing such a thing to living people? We will all burn in hell for it. Oh God, like what, what happened? That sounds terrifying. Okay, um, I'm gonna go and talk to Ferguson. Maybe. I have to wait in line for that. Uh, get in line, okay. I'll wait. And I'm just gonna, who do you think Watson? Okay, I need to talk to him, Magda. Uh, compliment, talk about the weather. I need to report to him. Uh, ask about the boss. Um, how do I report to Ferguson then? Oh, I need to, okay, I need to knock. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say an hour and 30 minutes to knock? What the fuck? Mr. Ferguson, I was a secret visitor, just like you asked. Permission to report in, command Ferguson, I've completed your mission. Excellent. Now if this was a wise guy, doesn't give me every last penny, he's toast. It's a woman. Ginger has no bearing on professional character, Evan. You've shown me that you're not a complete imbecile like the rest of them. Your next job is going to go, um, go, is to go to the office, collect money, and bring it back to me. What money? How slow can you be? Government money, Redgrave. The money our moronic visitors give to the idiotic co-workers for the good of the great country. Your colleagues already know how much they owe me, and if they forget, Rakovich will remind them. Alright, I'll do it. That's the right answer. To the rear, march, and close the door behind you. All right, bye, Ferguson. All right, Rakovich. Tell me my answers. Magda, Command Ferguson has ordered me to collect the contributions from the colleagues. Contributions? What contributions? To whom? I don't contribute anything to anyone. What a blinked and lie and slander. Well, contrib contributions to the state on his behalf? Oh, you mean the bribes. Say it straight and stop mumbling. You need to bring him an amount that's going to look n nice sitting in his safe. Small change won't do. 1,000 will be fine. Now what? Goodbye. Bring the boss the money. 1,000 gold. I'm going to talk to my colleagues while I'm out the door. Hello. I am here to collect the money. Marco, Ferguson told me to collect money. Are you his errand boy now? It's not my place to argue with the boss. There's no arguing with that fat bastard. So, about the money. I don't have any money. We're in recession. The market is stagnating. Do you even know the term? Go on. I'm going to end up paying this and I'm going to be pissed. Hello, Emma. Ask me to remind you that you owe him something. I can take it to him. We're not so close that I trust you to take anything Ferguson would throw me. Um, ta ask about Peter? Ask about the ministry. Edit orders. Okay, I'm, uh, I've read all this. Ask about the boss. Ask about Hermans. Um, I already, already asked about that. Uh, flirt maybe? I don't know. I just... I'm not going to invite her to the storeroom because that's weird. Okay, so I need to get the money from her. I need to figure out how to do that. Is that Dong? It's not Dong. Dongy. Maybe I shouldn't call you Dongy. What about you? Do you owe money? No. There you are, Peter. The report is almost finished. I just know, Peter, not the report. But it's also made of paper, paper, but smaller size, with numbers and the portrait of the leader on it. Oh, you mean the bribes? It's all here, down to last coin. 
Nice, he gave me the money. Um, he gave me 500. Nice. Alright, I think he gave me 500. Yeah, I had 630, so he gave me 500. So I just need to make sure that I don't spend that. But we're going to go back to our apartment. Um, that way we can get some more time. And then uh, I need to figure out how to get the money from Emma and how to get the money from Marco. If Marco has any money, I have a feeling I'm going to have to pay my, his share. And then um, we need to... Maybe we can get Marco in trouble over this and get him fired. How much influence did I need to get promoted again? It was some crazy amount, like 7,000 or something. I don't remember, but I'm almost there. Not really, but I am almost there. Hello, little girl. Bye, little girl. I guess I could have used the map and went home. Probably would have been easier. It's fine, I walked all this way. Oh God. Let me answer my phone. Oh. It's nice to finally hear your voice. Sorry, darling. I've had so much work. How are things going with the new job? Everything is great. I sit at the ministry, process paper, shuffle papers around. How you find anything out about your father? I'll tell you when I see you. I won't be coming soon, dear. But I understand it's not a conversation for the telephone. Just do what you have to do. Everything is good between the two of us. I'm so glad to hear that. Could you say that again? We're fine, Evan. We don't need anything, and everything's calm and ready. Focus on your work, dear. I know this is important to you. So tell me about your partner. Apartment. Apartment's fine. You'll like it. Three large rooms, a bed, a TV. Our girl will finally have her own room. I really want to see you. So do I, but I have to go now. Hang up. No, you hang up. You hang up. Aw, that's so cute. No, you. Hang up. We're just... <laughs> okay. Uh, hang up. Alright. Now we can answer the door. Hello? Who are you? Can I help you? Good evening. Hello, how can I help you? My name is Casper Pullman. I'm the manager of this building. Here's my ID. My name's Evan. I already talked to the manager. What was his name? Simon... Boss? Simon, that old drunk from the third floor and manager? That's what he said. And he probably asked you for money? Yes, for the overhaul fund. That scandal. If you see him again, chase him away and let me know. I'll deal with him. I didn't know. Thanks for the warning. No, let's get down to business. As I am familiarized you with the rules of tenancy. Uh, yes, of course. So, Evan, you live in a building with for civil servants. It's forbidden to make noise, litter, keep pets, and lock the doors. Lock the doors? Well, how else can I come and check you're following these rules? Anything else? So there's about 150 p points here, but I can t see that you're an intelligent person and can read them for, um, yourself. By the way, you will face immediate eviction if you break the rules. I understand. But don't forget to pay your bills. And turn off the tap. And switch off the lights. Bye. That's why I didn't give him that much money. I'm glad I didn't give him that much money. All right, let's pay the bills. Um, collection to help the nature soccer team due in three days. Okay, so I have everything but the building manager fee, so let's go ahead and pay that. And then, um, that, the rest of that is Peter's. And then we'll watch some TV. Um, I can buy that or I can watch an episode of this. We'll watch an episode of that. We'll just keep up with those two. It's fine. All right, so we're gonna call it a day, guys. If you like this video, press that like button. If you watch more videos, press the subscribe button. I make videos Monday through Friday, and I'll talk at your faces later. Bye.